Now, India's lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2, is all set to make its soft landing on the moon. The mission has completed all its orbit maneuvers and the wait is on for September 7th, when the landing is expected. Chandrayaan-2 completed its second and final deorbiting maneuver, putting it on the required orbit for a descent onto the lunar surface. The lander Vikram was also separated from the orbiter without any technical glitches. The first deorbiting maneuver was conducted 19 hours earlier. This came a day after the separation of the lander. The second maneuver lasted nine seconds and use the onboard propulsion system. So this puts Chandrayaan-2 orbiter merely 96 kilometers from the moon. But the lander is in much closer orbit of 35 kilometers from the lunar surface. The lander will descend on the lunar surface between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. on September 7th. Now this will be a crucial time for the lunar mission. India Space Research Organization Chief K. Sivan had called this time frame 15 minutes of terror. Between 5.30 and 6.30 a.m. on the 7th, the rover will roll out of the Vikram lander and conduct experiments on the lunar surface. All living beings on Earth face a threat due to climate change, but what if we told you even the dead haven't been spared? Tonight, we take you to the northernmost town on the planet to show you what climate change is doing to planet Earth. This is the archipelago of Svalbard in northern Norway, home to the northernmost town in the world, Longyearbyen, with a population of just over 2,000 people. Each frame here is like a postcard with ice-covered landscapes gleaming in the sunshine. But it is no longer frozen in time. It is the fastest warming place on the planet. And climate change is causing its icebergs to melt at a rapid rate. The temperature of Svalbard has gone up. Uh, the air temperature has risen by almost 10 degrees the past 30 years. The ocean is warmer. Houses in the valley are built on small wooden stilts instead of deep foundations, which means they cannot withstand nature's fury. Three years ago, as winter approached, 13 meters of coastline was lost overnight. The Svalbard Church claims it to be the world's northernmost church. The pastor of the church has been here only for the summer and says the fear among the locals is palpable. But it is no longer just a threat to the living. It also threatens the dead. Beneath the pastor's feet, the graveyard too is experiencing the effects of climate change. A landslide in October 2016 almost wiped out the graveyard. The threat of climate change also looms large over Odan Salte's dog farm. He has 110 dogs and worries that as temperatures rise, climate change could lead to the extinction of all life on Earth. I think it's not about saving the Arctic, because it's, it's about saving us. It's about uh, saving the animals on the, on the highway when, when people slow down to look at a car crash. Uh, the whole climate change is kind of like that because it's everyone's slowing down to kind of look at the accident but not realizing that we are actually the car crash. As Arden says, it is time to stop staring and start acting. 